Ryan here with a long overdue Lion Chief Gateway project update. So I finally got my hands on a legacy CAB2 remote system and I uh, finally integrated the like uh, Lion Chief Gateway with the CAB2 remote. So now I can actually control a Bluetooth locomotive with uh, CAB2. And I put a good amount of time into uh, making pretty much every function available from the Lion Chief Plus locomotive here work using the appropriate buttons on the CAB2 remote. So first of all, I just have the remote that comes with the Lion Chief Plus locomotive connected just to show a normal operation for those who might not be familiar with it. So here, when I slide it forwards a little bit there, roll it forwards, we go forwards. When I roll it backwards, it automatically switches into reverse and starts moving backwards. And we have the horn, the announcements. The bell. And the front coupler and rear coupler gets triggered by holding down the uh, shift button and pressing that horn to release the front coupler. So now I figured out, you know, how to make this uh, all work off of two different sets of controls. So first of all, these remotes are not universal. They are only configured to connect to the locomotive that they come with. So in this case, it's the uh, Union Pacific Engine 1037. Um, this one over here is for my Long Island Railroad set at home, which is a regular Lion Chief non-plus, so it doesn't have the electrocouplers. But um, that's for, you know, and uh, Line L M7-7006. So now I'm going to turn off the remote that came with the locomotive and wait for it to disconnect. And now it just connected to my Lion Chief Gateway project board over there. And so the old functions that we have seen in my previous videos uh, would let you use this remote, for example, a different remote with the wrong locomotive. So here, horns working, bells working. I can drive forwards. I can drive backwards. I can run the announcements. And this is all being done with the incorrect remote. And um, the that this is something I figured out a couple months ago before all the virus craziness caused everything to shut down and all that. Uh, so now I can turn this back off and pull out the cab too. So here, let's get the angle good on that. All right, so here I have a uh, engine ID programmed number five here where you'll see on this top of the screen right here, it says line chief NW2. And there, if I hit the horn, you see the horn go off for as long as I hold it. Bell. So the bell on the cab two remote works a bit differently where if you just tap it up, it rings once. I've recreated that on the Lion Chief Plus. When you hold down the bell, it starts off a uh, continuous bell mode. Hold it up again to stop it. Got that working. Um, I have the direction controls implemented so that when you hit the uh, direction button, it changes from forward to reverse. As we can see by the uh, the red lights coming on in the front, the headlight switches direction. And I also um, implemented a um, another feature of the CAB2 remote, which is w when you hold down the direction button and uh, roll it backwards, it will force it into reverse. So I also have that working. 
and most importantly, driving forwards. And it is running at the exact speed step that it says on the screen right there. So here we are going at speed number two. I can also, um, let's see here, there we go. I can also turn on and off the smoke unit using this plus and minus button, which is, there you kind of hear a little noisy fan motor going. Pro probably not supposed to make that much noise, but that's another problem. And then I also implemented the volume controls. So here we go, volume down, volume up. There's probably the max volume. Actually, there's the max volume. I implemented the crew talk. And uh, I also, let me just back this up now by flipping the, um, the throttle all the way to the left. Now we've switched directions. And now back up. Put that volume down quite a bit. Um, the volume is normally controlled through either a button combination being held down on the um, Lion Chief remote or the uh, phone app would let you do it. The Lion Chief phone app would let you do it. Um, I've mapped the controls onto the appropriate button on the Cab 2 remote though. Um, the smoke unit control that I have over here is normally only available through the phone app from what I know, unless they've made some change. Um, and uh, also pretty importantly, I have the uh, front and rear coupler controls working. So I'm gonna turn up that volume a little bit and I'm going to, I can switch direction by either pressing down the direction button or I can also flip it a bit to the back um, and in, I believe this is uh, TMCC mode on the remote, it will um, give me the uh, absolute throttle settings, which is how I can set specific speeds. Um, so here, I'm gonna move it forwards a little bit so we can maybe get a little bit of shot of that coupler. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm gonna close the coupler. And when I hit coupler F on the cab two, we get the coupler action and the rear, both working. So with that, I think I've implemented most all the features that you can get out of the uh, normal remote. Of course, with the Lion Chief Plus, because I didn't actually make any modifications to the software or hardware of the engines or the remotes themselves, um, I can't control whether you get a specific message like you normally can with the Cab 2, but, you know, that's the small price to pay. If I wanted to control the messages, I'd have to use the, um, the Legacy locomotive or TNCC. So now... I'm going to switch over to the, I'm going to move this one out of the way, and just leave that one rolling slowly around the other side of the track. Oh, the other thing I didn't show here is the brake slider works to bring it to a stop. Also the boost slider works. Reverse it, boost up, bring it to a stop. The momentum settings out of the locomotive work. So here, oops, let me switch the direction on that. So here, 
you see it slowly speed up based on my mo momentum settings saved in the remote. The train brake works to set the minimum or the maximum speed. It can't do the labor noises just because, again, it's just a regular line Chief Plus. But the minimum, the maximum speed settings do work if I slide the train brake all the way and give it throttle. Nothing happens. If I release that train brake, it starts to move. Or put it back on and it will stop according to the uh, momentum settings stored in the remote. So the main thing I want to show now here is I can control this line chief plus locomotive. Oopsie, train brakes all the way on. Oops. Oops. Didn't bring that to a stop. Switch the direction. Get that rolling. And now I'm going to fire up the legacy locomotive here, dash nine. Bring the volume up on that. And this is also a good comparison to how the functions are pretty much identical, down to the ringing bell when you control the volume. And so here I'm gonna start rolling forwards. That's the quilling whistle of the legacy. But here we are running a uh, legacy locomotive from the same controller as the Lion Chief Plus. Now, once I get my uh, base updated, unfortunately I had the bad luck of getting a version 1.0 legacy base when I bought it the other day, and this was the only one in, in town, basically. Um, so I'm currently dealing with some very old firmware on this controller. I'm missing some features, like the ability to set a uh, train link up to uh, basically make a consist between the two locomotives. But considering that it is already responding to legacy, I mean, TMCC commands, the line chief that is, I should have no problems making a consist between a Lion Chief Plus locomotive and a, or regular Lion Chief, and a TMCC or Legacy locomotive. And I think that will be very exciting for some people. Especially considering, until now, if you've had the, um, wait a second, let me just stop my other, my Lion Chief Plus locomotive over here. Just gonna speed that up a little bit and bring it to a stop and turn its volume down. Again, turn this volume down a little bit. So yeah, this will be uh, a very exciting set of uh, possibilities here, especially considering that until now you've only had um, the ability to use Bluetooth remotes like those or your phone with the Lion Chief and Lion Chief Plus locomotives and you know it's a shame because those have been around for a while and you know they're you know many people might have a lot of those and if they want to move into the legacy system they would have had no way of running the two trains from the same remote uh, without a system like this uh, that I've built in place here. So I think uh, this is something that could be exciting for a lot of people. So that's it for now. Updates to come. Have a good one.